everybody, Caleb with SPSI here, here to talk about an application design scenario. So what we have here on this drawing is your traditional house of worship um, layout, basically. This was presented to me by a dealer where he, in essence, had five sources wanting to be routed to six displays. But as you can see in this drawing, there's a lot going on in here. We've got our sources all over here on the left. Initially, they run to a video switcher which the output goes to a D to A to feed two projectors. The secondary output goes to a three by one video switcher. Then it goes to another one by four DA. Then it goes finally to its four monitors. This is, this is what I see day in and day out. It's how we've always designed AV systems, but it's lacking in efficiency and it has multiple points of failure. Let me show you how SBSI can accomplish the same exact task with much less equipment and of course at a lower cost. So here's how SBSI would solve this particular scenario. By using any of our N-series encoders, we place one encoder on each device that wants to be viewable on any display. So here we're going to utilize five encoders, video and audio are ran to each encoder, and then they're connected to a local network switch. From that network switch, we then take our Ethernet cables and run them to the decoders, in which case we have six decoders that are feeding the two projectors and the four lobby displays. Not only does this accomplish the same overall result of sending video from source to destination, but it also adds them true matrixing capabilities, any source to any display or any source to all displays or any combination there within. In addition to that, we've also added our N8001 controller this device will manage our devices as well as provide a simplified third-party control interface if required. If not, this device will be able to send commands through the onboard RS-232 and infrared ports on our devices to turn on and off the monitors, control the sources, or any third-party device that's connected to one of our encoders or decoders. In addition to that, we needed to get audio from the mixing console to the house audio system and back again. So we've used down here at the bottom right two ATR-201s, which is our audio-only transceiver. This device connects again to the network switch and provides two-way communication of balanced or unbalanced line-level audio. So in this case, we're using one to feed the mixing console, and we're using the other one to feed the house audio system, basically a back loop into the mixing board. But they also had two other devices that they needed control of and that was a power sequencer and a lighting control module. Well, what we've done there is we've actually used two devices from Global Cache that are IP devices that translate IP commands to RS-232 and another one that does IP commands to contact closure. So this allows us to control the entire system on our own without necessitating a third-party controller. So really, in its essence, we have five encoders, six decoders, two ATRs, one of our controllers, and in the middle of all of that, we're using one of SVSI's pre-configured Cisco switches that provides PoE to all devices. So this provides a much simpler layout. Uh, it ended up saving the client about $3,000 and was able to accomplish what they were desiring and much, much more. So this is one of many applications that come across my desk on a regular basis. I encourage you when you have the chance, feel free to submit a design to design at sbsiav.com and we'll happily look over your design, provide a line drawing of our own, and a competitive quote to let you know how our uh, solutions stack up against the competition. Ooh.